going on everybody? Uh, this video is going to be a review and testimonial for the software and company AMZ Analyzer. I was not paid or incentivized to do this review at all. This is going to be 100% based off of my experience, stories, and why I think AMZ Analyzer is hands down the best um, analyzing tool out there on the market. So first I'm going to explain to you about who I am. My name is Bo Crable. I'm an Amazon seller, eBay seller, and Walmart seller. Most of my sales happen on the Amazon market by only selling name brand products. And I also coach thousand, thousands of students. So since I coach thousands of students, I have an obligation to make sure that my students are using the best tools currently on the market. And the funny thing with that is that people know that I have a course and everything and that I teach people. So a lot of software companies and other Amazon tool services reach out to me and I probably get at least one email a day of some company trying to pitch me this and tell me to go share it to their students. And I use it and 99.99% it's just awful. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to first tell you a couple stories about AIMS the Analyzer. Hopefully it kind of sparks little good ideas of what you can use AIMS the Analyzer for. I'll explain to you about what I use AIMS the Analyzer for. I'm going to explain to you why I think it's a benefit and why it's better than every single other software tool that analyzes products on the market right now. So probably the number one story I always tell people about AIMS the Analyzer is this. So before I started using product research tools that automate all this process like AIMS the Analyzer, I would hire virtual assistants to go through my spreadsheets and simply do exactly what AIMS Analyzer does, which is automatically tells you the profits, fees, sales ranks, etc. And literally for like a 20,000 whatever spreadsheet catalog, it would take them a couple weeks, which is actually decently fast for a lot of people. And at the end of those uh, couple weeks, usually what would happen about half the products that were actually good um, simply were sold out or they were just gone now. And I'd find a few products from there. So I was paying the virtual assistants a few bucks an hour. They actually wore a profit for me. But then um, in the summer of 2017, I, a business acquaintance referred to me Ames Analyzer. And I said, oh, wow, this is crazy. So I started using it. And just immediately I was like, why am I not using this anymore? And actually what I do today with my virtual assistants is I don't have them do that anymore. I actually get them to simply have the emails that get sent from my suppliers, I tell them, hey, the emails that get sent from my suppliers, put that into a spreadsheet so I can scan it with AMZ Analyzer. But probably the most, I guess, best store I can give to you, third quarter of Amazon selling, and I scan a spreadsheet of a thousand units from a supplier. It was a closeout supplier, and if you're in the closeout industry where actually a lot of my sales happen, you understand that there's high profits, but a lot of the good products sell out just like that. So a tool like this is perfect. However, I scanned a spreadsheet from a supplier that had a thousand units on it, right? And there was about five good products. Um, however, one product that had a really good ROI and a really good BSR, um, there was only 17 units of it and each unit cost 79 cents. So my total investment was like 10 bucks and I was gonna profit like 30. So the ROI was really good. Like I was like, okay, dang, if I could have a thousand of these or 2000 or 500 at least, that would be amazing. So I reached out back to the supplier and said, hey, um, I really like this product. Um, we're definitely going to buy all the 17 of them, but can you go source more? And it turns out they were actually going to go sell them to the dollar store. And I said, Hey, I will go buy the rest of them. And they had 2000 left and went to go buy all of them. Now, if I was not using AMZ analyzer and say, if I had a virtual assistant to go do that, I would honestly probably tell the virtual assistant to not go through that product just because there's 17 units and it just wouldn't be worth the time because it's probably gonna be sold out. But I was able to use AMZ analyzer found some products that were profitable and then go back to my spar because there's more of them. So literally that order right there, I went from profiting 30 bucks, which pays for AMZ Analyzer, right? AMZ Analyzer is 30 bucks a month. But then they found 2,000 other units, which then that ended up profiting $6,000. It took me four months to sell out of it. You go to the closeout industry, sometimes stuff can take a long time with high ROIs, but literally would have never got that without AMZ Analyzer. So now what I want to explain to you about what business model you're in and if you should be using AMZ Analyzer. So AMZ Analyzer is best if you're selling name brand products, working with wholesalers and distributors, okay? And especially if you're in the closeout industry or if you're working with a distributor that sells out of units pretty fast. Okay, I work with a lot of the distributors where I know that if I don't scan this spreadsheet within 24 hours, I'm gonna miss out on a lot of stuff. So if you're in the business where you're working with distributors and wholesalers that are selling name brand products, 
100%, you need to be using Amos the Analyzer. There's like absolutely no question at all that you should be using Amos the Analyzer. Now, if your suppliers do not send you spreadsheets or catalogs, I still think you should be having Ames the Analyzer. Because like myself, about 30% of the deals I get sent off to me are through spreadsheets. So I can 100% scan those with Ames the Analyzer. Products that are sent through me via email or on a mailing list where they just blast out the email or sometimes on a website, there's no purpose for Ames the Analyzer. But you're wrong. What I do with my virtual assistants now is I give them access to my emails and I tell them, hey, every single product that is sent to me every single day, I want you to put into a large spreadsheet and at the end of the day, send me that spreadsheet. So I might get 50 emails. Maybe in those 50 emails, there's a total of 300 different products. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll have my virtual assistants get the ASINs and get the price, put it into the spreadsheet. That's all you need for Ames Analyzer. You literally just need the ASIN, UPC code, EAN, or ISBN, just a product ID, and the price, and it'll, it will scan itself. I know there's other tools out there that you need a lot more information. AMZ Analyzer, you just need that. And then what I'll do when the virtual assistants send me the spreadsheet, I will literally just scan it through AMZ Analyzer. And what I've noticed that probably I'm gaining an extra or finding an extra 50% of uh, deals to make because you'd be surprised, right? I get it, people are a lot really busy. And if you don't have time to go through all those emails every single day, which it's unless you're hiring like full-time employees, you don't utilize virtual assistants and um, well, you don't have to have virtual assistants, right? But utilize Ames Analyzer for that. Okay. Now I just talked to you about my experiences and also the business model and when you should be using Ames Analyzer and the uses for it. But now let me explain simply what it compares to other tools on the market. So the three, I guess, biggest competitors or the people who have these softwares out there is one Ames Analyzer, two Price Checker two, and three is Ecom Spy. So Price Checker two is seventy dollars per month. Right, I've used Price Checker 2, I don't use it anymore. Um, to be very brutally honest, um, Ames the Analyzer's customer support is 100 times better than them. Not gonna say anything bad about them because I don't want to uh, slander anybody, but Ames the Analyzer's support is, trumps their um, customer support. Ames the Analyzer also works a lot faster than Price Checker 2 as well. So what I've noticed, I, I kind of compared the two. I use Price Checker 2, and scanned a 2000 SKU spreadsheet. Frames Analyzer takes me less than five minutes. Price Checker 2 takes me about 15 minutes, okay? So they're very, very similar tools, um, but I 100% prefer um, Ames Analyzer. And I, to my thousands of students, I always tell them Ames Analyzer um, if they can go do that. And plus, Ames Analyzer is less than half of that, 30 bucks a month. Now, with Ecom Spy, um, they don't really promote their tool how Ames Analyzer does. And just to be very honest, it's not really. Um, it's not really made for Amazon sellers, I would say. The good thing about Ames the Analyzer is that they are heavily involved. I know the owner of Ames the Analyzer used to be an Amazon seller, I think he still is, and they understand what Amazon sellers want. With Ecom Spy, it's just not very user friendly, and it's just not the easiest to use. And you can just tell it's not really like made for an Amazon seller. Okay, so just by far, the funny thing is, Ames the Analyzer is the fastest, has the best customer support, works the best, has the best features and is actually the cheapest out of all three of them. Um, so it's just a no-brainer to use Ames Analyzer to just be very uh, blunt with you. Um, but I'm just gonna recap of this video is honestly, um, I suggest Ames Analyzer to a lot of people and there's reasons why. It's a huge asset for your business. Literally, it's 30 bucks a month. If you're in contact and getting emails or getting spreadsheets every single day, this tool is 100% worth it to you, okay? Again, uh, love Ames Analyzer. I use it every single day. I have a lot of students use it, and yeah, pretty much that's it, and I highly suggest you to get Ames Analyzer.